Ryan Tedder is the lead singer of One Republic and has written countless hit songs for many big name artists. And after taking his songwriting course, I want to share with you his entire vocal chain. Quick disclaimer, I am not being paid or compensated in any way, shape or form to make this video. But if you're a songwriter like myself, I highly encourage you to go to studio.com so you can check out the course because in my humble opinion, it was so worth the money. So first, let's talk about some of the gear that he uses to record and then we'll dive into to the plugins. Ryan records everything in Pro Tools. His audio interface is the Apollo Twin, and his go to microphone is the Neumann U87. However, he did state that when he's traveling or when he doesn't have the U87 with him, his backup microphone is the Shure SM7B. Even though this is not a cheap mic, it's definitely way more affordable than a U87. Moving on to the actual vocal effects, the first plugin in his vocal chain is the Universal Audio Auto Tune. However, Ryan made it very clear that when he's recording himself for One Republic, he does not track with autotune. He only leaves it on the vocal chain in case he's in a songwriting session and needs to come up with ideas quickly without having to worry about being pitch perfect on every take. And here are some of the settings that he shared throughout the course, but just don't forget to change the key to match whatever key of the song that you're working in. The second and perhaps most important part of this entire vocal chain is the CLA vocals. This is an all-in-one vocal plugin that was made by Waves in collaboration with Chris Lore Algae, who is a Grammy winning mixing engineer. And I've already done two in depth reviews on how to use this plugin. I'll leave the links in the description below. But in a nutshell, it gives you control over the EQ, compression, delays, reverbs, and you can even add different vocal effects. But believe it or not, Ryan actually uses one of the built in presets called Face to Face Dry. And these were the settings that he used in the course. And according to him, this makes the vocal sound like it's already been mixed. He also stated that he doesn't like to use the reverb portion of this effect. He usually tends to go for the quarter note delay and then he adjusts the EQ based on whatever track he's working on. Of course, these are just guidelines, so just mess around with the settings based on your own voice. The third plugin in his vocal chain is just the standard noise gate. And this is great, especially if you're recording yourself in an untreated room, because what the gate does is every time you stop singing, the gate's going to close. And so none of the background noise is going to pass through, which is going to clean up your tracks. The next plugin in his vocal chain is the Valhalla Reverb. And I have to say, after listening to it throughout the entire course, I just had to buy it. And a cool thing about this plugin is that it comes with three different colors. It also includes a low pass and high pass filters that will help clean up some of the muddy frequencies that you may get from other reverb plugins. And this is one of the settings that he used throughout the course, but I did notice that he applied it straight to his vocal track and you can do that but the way that I prefer to use this plugin is just to go to my vocal track and then send it to a bus. You can select any bus so I just usually go with bus number one. Then I just add the reverb effect to my bus and then control how much of the reverb gets sent to my vocal track. The biggest benefit of doing it this way is if you have 20 different vocal tracks, instead of having to add the reverb 20 different times, you can just create one bus, send all of your vocal tracks to it, and this is going to save you a ton of processing power. And by the way, if you're getting value out of today's content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So now let's do some audio tests so you can hear what all of the effects will sound like on a typical vocal track. And in order to replicate this vocal chain, I'll be recording through my Neumann TLM-102 which is the closest thing I have to a U87 being connected straight into my Apollo twin. I'll be a light, your match, your burning sun. I'll be the bright and black that's making you run. I'll be a light, your match, your burning sun. I'll be the bright and black that's making you run. And I feel alright as I feel alright cause we worked it out. And if you want to check out the one plugin that Ryan uses to master all of his music, then make sure to click on this video.